the door and and this story is about that Judy B. Jones's grandpa gives her some black furry mittens and she wears them to school with her jacket and she feels drippity inside on the playground so she leaves her mittens and her jacket in a pile and when she comes back to take them she has a problem and the problem is called hey help my mittens are stolen and then she tells her teacher mrs and mrs takes her to the principals to look in the lost and found and Junie B. Jones finds a teddy backpack and she wants to keep it, but Principal says no. And when she goes back to room nine, she finds a pen and she scribbles on her hand with the four colors. And then she goes back to room nine after she puts her pen in, in her pocket. And then after she kept her pen, she goes home with that grace on the bus. And when she goes back to her house, then she tugs on Grandpa's arm and she says, Grandpa, Grandpa, we need to go back to the mitten store. And then Grandpa says, why? And she says, because someone stole my mittens. And he said, I'm sorry, Junie B, but that was the last furry pair. And then Junie B slumped down and then she hid her new pen under her bed when daddy and mother came. And at the end of this book, she finds a pink fluffy girl who took her mittens and then the pink fluffy girl and Mrs. have a talk about it and then Judy B. Jones gets her mittens back and then she goes to principal's office and she puts her pen she got in the lost and found. And I like this book and this book is my favorite. It teaches kids not to be bad like crooks, because crooks are actually bad. And we don't want you to be crooks. We want you to be nice to other kids. And let's get on with the opinions. My opinion is that everyone in the world will have fun and they will get together after reading this book. Now let's go to Safari's opinion. My opinion is that everyone in the world will read this book and say, this book is so great and joyful. Okay, and this book really is good. Trust me, I'll prove it to you. If you read it, my mind will be blown. It's that good. And this teaches readers to read much better. And sometimes I read this book and I'm like, whoa, that book was so good. And it really is. And I trust people to read this book. It's so brilliant, and the pictures are interesting. The, the words are really easy to read, and they're challenging. And the story is interesting. And also the pictures have a lot of detail in them, like in this picture. And I know that this will blow your mind. This book is that great. I never read a book so good like this. And this book teaches curious readers to how to solve mysteries. And how to, and the development
the words are not immature and for kids to read. I wish everyone across the whole world will read this book and then 